Hello everyone. The new network operation management or the norm user interface is the modernization of how your network is displayed, visualized and managed. Network service availability is optimized and more efficient using NMI monitoring and NA configuration and compliance data together. The topology data you see is coming from NMI in real time using the REST API calls. The overall status of the node is a combination of monitoring and compliance status. Monitoring status from NMI is shown on the right hand side indicator. And the overall compliance status of the node is shown in left side indicator coming from NA through the REST API calls. If the network admin was only interested in seeing the current incident, we can turn off compliance and focus on incident of the network and color coded by severity. We can see that this device has an open incident. We are going to click on the incident indicator to get the details. In this case, we can see that device has high output utilization on interface fa 0 one When we click on the incident, we are able to see more details in this view about the incident itself. At the high level, you can see the incident name as well as the message having more details about the incident. If we know we have a high interface utilization incident, it makes sense by default to show historical interface output utilization for this interface because that's the most relevant aspect of troubleshooting. Norm has been overlaying configuration changes on top of performance graphs to quickly determine if device change is affecting network performance. We have now added the notion of diagnostic changes. It is something we can detect in real time diagnostics depending on how it is set up. Anytime a configuration change is detected, Norm can run diagnostics automatically. We wanted to make this view more recent. We can simply specify much smaller window of time here. I'm adjusting time to last one hour. Here is the inflation graph for last one hour. And here is when you can see configuration change occurred and when diagnostic change was detected by norm. We can see that utilization graph started to go up around the same time as configuration change was made. And if we click on indicator icon, we will see side by side before and after difference of device configuration. We will see that someone by mistake has swapped two statements in the configuration, allowing traffic on port 8001, resulting high interface utilization. Next, to understand the impact, let's look at the diagnostic changes by clicking on the indicator. We can see side-by-side -side differences of the diagnostics here in relation to performance graph in the same way as we saw with the configuration changes. The permit IP rule, which was showing a few packets earlier, is now showing a lot more packets here. And also, the deny TCP IP port 8001 is not showing any matching packets. This clearly indicates that the changes in the order of ACL is causing high traffic utilization. There might be other metrics that you want to look while you're troubleshooting. Norm UI let you add additional metrics as needed. For example, if you want to look at volume of data from the interface in megabyte, you can search for volume megabyte metrics from the available metrics list. Simply click on the plus sign to add this metrics on the page. As we scroll down, we'll see the volume megabyte graph. Everything has same context, same time period. Next, perhaps we want to look at the volume packet out to verify what we saw in the diagnostic changes. If you scroll down, that graph appears. 
You can customize it over the course of troubleshooting exercise as needed. All of these helps you and your network operations teams to identify the issues faster, more efficiently, and significantly decreasing your MTTR. Finally, we figured out what the problem is, and we can go ahead and deploy the corresponding change plan. If you have predefined change plan to address the error condition, you can choose that from the drop down list of the applicable change plans. However, if you do not have predefined change plan, you can run a one time change plan. You can click on this button, select the mode, and simply type the CLI command you would like to execute. We put the command needed here and then deploy the change plan. Once the change plan is deployed, we can readjust the time on the graph and check the latest trend of all the metrics on the page here. Based on the change plan we executed, we have a new configuration change detected by norm on the device. For a close look, let's click on the icon and we can see deny TCP 8001 port is now higher in order than the permit all. We can also see that interface utilization has come down after making this configuration change. Let's check on network overview and we can see that the status of the node with high interface utilization is green. This demonstrates as how we could visualize, analyze, and remediate a network issue real effectively using NORM. Let's look at other way of managing the incidents with NORM. Let's click on Open Key Incidents. This view shows all the open key incidents across the network. These incidents are stored by time of occurrence. We can target the next critical incident that needs to be addressed directly from here and reduced MTTR leveraging network operations management from the micro focus. Thank you.